always try to keep to our own sort of game plan. So we're a possession style team. So that was always our plan, not to change too much, to sort of adapt to the other teams. Um, but we were aware that they like to pressure high. So we were aware that sometimes we'd need to like, move a bit faster from the back and maybe just get it out of the back at times because we were going to be under a lot of pressure from them. They were just on us the whole game. There was a lot of high pressure and it makes it very difficult, obviously, to connect every pass and to keep possession. Jaden played well and he was working very hard, working very hard to get the ball back. Marco did a nice job when he came in, of, uh, although he had to go out because he got injured. I thought he did a nice job when he came in of uh, trying to sort out the back four in terms of, like, he's very vocal, so you always know where to be with him when he's on the field. Logan worked pretty hard the whole game. Um, like you could see him all over the field trying to get the ball and trying to get the team going. And really, like when it's 2-0 getting towards the end of the game, you need people that are going to try and work hard. That's the main thing, try and get the ball back, try and keep the ball, and just try and get the team going. Although you're 2-0 down, you need to do whatever you can to try and turn the table, because even with like 15, 10 minutes to go, anything can happen. Missouri State is a team that last year, you know, they struggled uh, in conference especially, uh, but we knew they're three and zero in conference coming into this game. We knew it would be tough to break them down, and you know we actually had two pretty big moments to be able to score that I think a lot of teams have struggled to find. So, um, you know, it was an it's a well known opponent. We've seen video. Uh, we play them a lot. We play them in the spring usually. So it's there were no surprises, um, but they're a quality team and a, and a very difficult team to play against. Yeah, I think uh, you know. The, I would say across the board last night, the big thing I took away from it was the work rate and the belief and the fight in our team. You know, we had a ton, ton of effort from the guys, you know, and it came down to a f two key moments defensively and two key moments in the attack that we just weren't quite able to get over the edge. Um, you know, we, we had, a, you know, unfortunately a, an own goal, okay, to, to kind of put the game a little bit out of reach at the time, even though we fought back, we had two great chances near the end, okay, to, to get back into the game. So um, I would say to highlight some positives from the group is just the fight till the end. You know, were we perfect? Absolutely not. But we've got a really great group of guys that are willing to fight and scrap, okay, for the last, you know, for the full 90 minutes and especially at the end of the game. Um, Evansville's a, a totally different opponent. You know, they're, uh, they're a team that's going to come at us a lot in attack. You know, they're not going to sit in like uh, Missouri State does. They're going to be easier to, to possess against. Um, but they are going to be probably more dangerous going forward than Missouri State. So they're not going to be the same team to break down that Missouri State was defensively, uh, which is, you know, a bonus for us. I think we'll have a lot more success with our possession style and enable us to play our style that we've trained all year. Um, but they are dangerous going forward, so we've got to be able to protect the protect the shutout, okay, and really hang our hat on, on a really good team defensive effort on the day.